Today we're looking at First Nephi chapter 8, verse 10, a really spiritual and special verse, if we can read it correctly. And it came to pass that I beheld the tree whose fruit was desirable to make one happy. Let's look again at another Hebrew pun that links the tree and happiness, and then what that means for us spiritually in our lives. If you haven't watched already the video I did on chapter 8 in the background and context, go watch that. This will make a lot more sense. Uh, but we'll do a brief background here. So during the reforms of Josiah, Asherah, or Heavenly Mother, was removed from the religion and from the temple. So here in Deuteronomy 16.21, we read of the commandment to remove all Asherahs. There's the, the Hebrew there and then it translates into do not plant for yourself an asher of any tree next to the altar of Yahweh that you make for yourself this commandment telling the Israelites not to plant any more trees representing Asherah in 2nd Kings 23 6 we read of Josiah commanding that Asherah be removed from the temple they remove the Asherah tree from the Holy of Holies and they take it down to the Kidron Valley and burn it. Again, this Asherah is representative of Heavenly Mother, and you can learn more about that in the other video. But Lehi has a temple vision now. We fast forward back to chapter 8. is a temple vision where the third and final stage of progression, he sees a tree. And we'll talk more about how this is a temple vision in other videos, but he goes to three stages of progression. Through his dream, the final stage of progression, he's at a tree. And that tree that is no longer in the temple in Jerusalem because Josiah had it remodeled and burned is back in the final stage of progression. He sees the tree that represents Heavenly Mother, that bears the fruit, that represents Jesus Christ, the two things that make our Heavenly Father the most happy and bring him the most joy. Now let's look at the pun between Asherah, tree, and happy. The word Me'ushar, meaning blessed or happy, is linguistically connected to the word Asherah. They have the same Hebrew word, root word, Aleph Shin Resh, and therefore we can understand that this verse is explicitly bringing Asherah, our beloved tree goddess, into the folds of Jewish thought by reimagining her gift of blessings within the monotheistic context. This pun is actually used a lot in the Old Testament, and it was not removed in many instances that we can go back and find this same pun being used connecting Asherah and happiness. But if we look here, and it came to pass that I beheld a Asherah tree whose fruit was desirable to make one Asher or happy. So we see the word play here in Hebrew that we can't pick up on when we read it in English, but when we back translate it into Hebrew, we see that they were making a word play, a pun that we see so often in Jewish writing and that we've seen so often so far in the Book of Mormon when Nephi and Lehi are trying to drive home a point. They use this literary tool or pun to drive a point home. So Lehi is showing us here. In this verse, those who have eyes to see and ears to hear will see that what has been removed from the temple is not only Asherah, but the entire idea of a heavenly family, a heavenly father, a heavenly mother, and a heavenly son, and that we can become like them, that we can have our own eternal families uh, with heavenly mothers, heavenly fathers, heavenly children, that we can be together forever as eternal families. So this is what was lost when Josiah did his reforms. This beautiful doctrine is so unique to our religion today that was not unique at all to Lehi Nephi and the family who remembered the time before Josiah's reforms. And we see as Lehi has this vision how bad he wants this for his family. For him, Sariah, Nephi, Lehi, Laman, Lemuel to be together as a family forever. Mm -hmm.